In trigger run start high commander in spunky rhythm. You don't see many try as hard as this one. Number seven, Semper Fidelis and Tony Allen have got the prize. And that is four wins from her last five starts now. Yeah, she's by Grosvenor and ridden by TK Allen, Tony Allen. That's the jockey who won a Melbourne Cup back in the late 80s on Empire Rose. Semper Fidelis the winner. Now Gold Coast, race three, two minutes off. Northern Friends favourite at 3.50, ahead of Hidden Camera, 6.10. Lady Isabella, 8.40. Another sin, $9. The others all double figures. 82,000 there in the wind pool. And uh, Alan Thomas is getting ready for his call. Northern Friends, as we look at the top eight, is a clear-cut favourite. Now Alan Cowie is riding the favourite Northern Friends in the race coming up. Here he is with Larry Olsen. Well, perhaps she's pretty hot here in race three, but uh, Northern Trends looks like the starting favourite. It was a good win last start, Larry. Um, all she has to do is, is back up, which I think she can, and she'll be very competitive. Race four, Rebel with the cause, another one for Gerald Ryan. Yeah, we third up today. You should see the best of them today. The okay. crease, the pace, but I think there is a bit. And uh, race five, Emperor Star for Bevan Lemming. Well, it's good to have a ride in this race, and he's drawn well, so we'll go out there and do our best. Okay. Then at the last with the London Bank, well, not in the last, into race six. Yeah, he's exciting horse. I've got a lot of time for this bloke. He, um, you should see the best of him today. I thought he just petered on his run the other day, and he'll be hard to beat today. I mean, you've got some real good rides, which is the best. Good, couldn't split him, mate. Well, I'd have to say, if you had a, if you had a single one out, Probably um, in the easiest company is Rebel with the course. Thanks, pal. Thank you. Alan Cowie, who's on Northern Friends. OK, let's go back to the Gold Coast. Brendan and Larry Olsen. OK, Tappy, thanking you. On course, the favourite is the three. Uh, you're getting similar value to what they're betting uh, on the tote. The best of the value is definitely okay. the nine, which has remained firm in betting and much shorter than what you're seeing on your tote screens. The 12 is pretty close to what they're betting on track. The 12, Larry, is where you're going. Yes, I'm going there, Brendan. Uh, I thought it looked extremely well. It was probably one of the better that I saw going out. Comes into this race extremely well on weight, so this last run was a beauty. I, on looks, yes, I put it there. I went to the 14-2. It was uh, extremely unlucky at this last start and uh, you know I do think it'll run well um, it looked well uh, then I went for the three northern friends from the Gerald Ryan stable one at the Gold Coast here sweating a bit probably not didn't look quite as well as the others in appearance uh, but the one I thought did uh, look extremely well was the nine going under the track I'd have elevated him if I had another chance at it and uh, anyway I've got him in for fourth position another horse I thought 15 dinner snap drawn 12 alley if it hadn't drawn there I might have gone a bit further you know put it in but look we'll go 12 14, 3 and 9 in what we think is a pretty hard race. Yeah, tough race, a host of chances. The punters are finding it hard, Tappy, on course to select a standout outside of Northern Friends. But as I mentioned, another sin is definitely the best of the value compared to what they're betting on course. Moving into line for this third race, correct weight is there at Caulfield. Northern Friends is the favourite on the toe, 320. Hidden camera now out to 640. Larry's top tip and Lady Isabella, $7.90. Uh, Tappy, back to you to clear other commitments in the studio. Right, Brent, thank you. Northern Friends, a clear-cut favourite here at 320. Correct weight at Caulfield, Delago Brom the winner, 860 and 240. Wonder Worker, three dollars thirty. Yell, 210. Quinella, 7960. Exacta, 14690. And the trifecta was 901. Right, set to take you now to Alan Thomas Coast. So these runners moving forward. Northern Friends, our favourite, 310. Hidden Camera, 640. Now just before they jump in this race, I'd like to remind everyone about the trip of a lifetime with Gulliver Sports Travel to South Africa. Our South African racing tour with Gulliver Sports Travel. We're leaving in June, the last week of June, and encompassing the first two weeks of July. We're away for three weeks. We'll see racing in Perth, Johannesburg, the big July handicap meeting in Durban, which is their Melbourne Cup equivalent. We'll also see racing in Cape Town. And I will personally escort the tour. I'm looking forward to that. We'll see the game parks. We'll see the big five. We'll be sightseeing. We're going to Hartford House, the stud. Um, we'll be having all sorts of uh, odds and ends on our tour. We'll be flying to South Africa and back with Qantas. And uh, if you need any more information on that, you can contact Gulliver's Sports Travel, 1-800-99-0001. 1-800-99-0001. 
our Gulliver Sports Travel South African Racing Tour in June and July later in the year. Now we're just about set here. Northern Friends are standing up okay. Drawn barrier number six, blue and white hoops, or blue and gold hoops. All set. Lady Isabella back a touch. Light goes on. And they're off and racing now. Northern Friends didn't begin all that well. In fact, it's back about third last when they get going. Lady Isabella from the outside was actually the first to go and is the early leader in the run to the first corner. Shan Carty's outside in and going through on the fence. Another sin and dinner snap going around them wide. There's speed on here. Fair to crease out deep. Oh, there's one down. Oh, there's two, three down. Caramel Stars down. Oh, the favourite's gone. Northern Friends is gone. Northern Friends down and the horse is heading back in the opposite direction and Caramel Stars riders down as well. That's Matthew Bennett and Pup Cowley and there's a half of these put out of the race, hidden cameras out of the race. 700 metres to go, Dennis Knapp the leader and I'm just watching this horse coming around in the reverse direction. Both clerks of the course are after it. On the corner, dinner snap led Shan Carty. Lady Isabella followed by Fair to Creopolis. Another sins behind those. And dancing on's getting into the race, coming to the outside. 300 left to go. Shan Carty, Lady Isabella led. Dinner snap, Fair to Cree. He's tippy toe getting into the clear. Dancing on down the outside. It's Shan Carty, Lady Isabella tackled by Fair to Cree and tippy toe. Fair to Cree and Tippy toe together. Fair to Cree and Tippy toe. Tippy toe does best, and Tippy toe's beaten. Fair to Cree. Third, Shan Cardi, just in front of Lady Isabella from dancing on dinner snap. Maddie's girl. The next time is Opal Ice. Then came another sin, and half of these been put out of the race. Winning return, Jet and over. And there's one of the riderless horses going over the line. Hidden camera's been pulled up at the top of the straight. Now let me just check here, if I get this right horse, Tippy Toe. Now let me just have a quick look at the riders as those dividends go up. The two riders to come down, Pup Cowie, Alan Cowie on Northern Friends, and Matt Bennett on Caramel Star. Um, uh, both, I can see Matt Bennett, I think, is sitting up. Um, Matt Bennett sitting up and the attendants are with uh, Pup Cowie at the moment. So as we have a look at the fall, um, round the first corner and tippy, tippy toe, that's in the black and gold colours, is out the back. And it has stormed home to win, coming off a win at Coss Harbour over 800 metres in a Class 3 back on the 1st of January and has got home to win here at one in, in, on the uni tab. $138.80 for the win, $31.40 for the place, ridden by Jason Taylor. Well, it always puts a damper on a big day to see an accident, and uh, that was a spectacular uh, buster in the early stages of the race. And look at the winner's price. He was lucky to miss the fallen horses, tippy toe. $138.80 and $31.40, fair decree, $680, Shankardi, 1270 Quinella 1383 and the trifecta will pay 1740. No, I beg your pardon. Oh, no, ignore ignore that. Yeah, that's more like it. Um, yeah, we'll sort that out. Jason Taylor rode the winner and uh, must be counting his lucky stars to be on his feet because he was on the inside of the fallen horses, just checked ever so slightly and uh, gets up to win the race. So Wayne, again, luck's a fortune, isn't it? He may well have been in the fall himself. He missed it by a whisker. Oh, tell me about it, John. You know, it's just a split second decision. Sometimes it just keeps you out of trouble or gets you into it. But look, John, this race here coming up, race three, it's a very, very open affair. A lot of chances. That's why I've gone shopping for a bit of value with number six, Future Force. Was a, he, he knows his way around this track. I remember him uh, winning very well here on one occasion. Very well bred horse from the John Hawke stable. He was a good winner at Warwick Farm first up this preparation, was beaten on the inside track at his next run. Then at, uh, at his r last run, he was uh, just run off his feet behind centre fire over the 1100 at Warwick Farm. He looked good in the parade. I think he's got to get into a nice spot here. It doesn't seem to be a great deal of speed on in the race. In saying that, uh, I thought it, number seven, it's our time. If he gets a, he's a pretty speedy horse. And if he gets a soft run in front, he might be pretty hard to run down here. He's favourite on course. 
and it looks like the like Thursday night here, all the horses up on the speed have got a definite advantage. So uh, here's a chance in the race. I thought number three, Durham, he's second up here from the Neville Voigt stable. He goes good around this track, a win in a second from his only two runs. Beaten by a very good horse at Gosford first up, and I think he's another horse that'll get a nice run in transit. Comes in all right with a claim for Rob Brewer too. And I thought the other chance in the race was number one, Lord Kefalonia, a little bit uneasy in the betting here. He should get the run of the race from Good Barrier too with a big weight. He's a good winner at Newcastle first up. And one at a bit of odds, number eight, Jabiru Lad. Good, uh, quiet whisper around for him at big odds. And uh, under speaking to his trainer, Davey Haywood, gives him a bit of a chance in the race too. But he does get back and needs a little bit of luck in running as a couple of these others do. Six, three, seven, one. Good, Wayne. Thank you. And uh, the Canterbury race, two minutes away. Now, let's go back to the coast to Alan Thomas. Alan, uh, can you check the damage for us? Right, John, uh, we're just getting a report through here to the effect that uh, Matt Bennett is conscious um, and he appeared to be sitting up and uh, the attention at the moment is with Alan Cowie. He's got uh, the ambulance bearers there and also it looks as though a couple of the stewards and they're placing Alan on a stretcher and uh, no doubt we'll put him in the back of the car and we'll need to, to know where he goes from there. But Northern Friends and Caramel Star with the two horses uh, up on that top corner and uh, I just can't remember which one went first. Um, Northern Friends was at the back, probably Caramel Star went first. I can't remember, but anyway, they both came down. Matt, I think, is okay, and uh, we'll get a report on, uh, on Alan as soon as we can. And um, I'm just watching here. Yeah, they'll put him on the stretch and, and, and take him into the ambulance car. So um, having a look at the replay of, uh, of the fall, and it just happened up on that top corner. Um, I just don't know exactly what happened. When you're calling races, you own, as John would, uh, would very well know, you just get a glimpse of a jacket just sort of half flashing past your binoculars and you can't sometimes really tell what actually happened. Uh, we got correct weight here, by the way. And uh, Caramel Star and uh, the Northern Friends were the two to come down. Then, and then out of all that, Tippy Toe in the black and gold colours was behind them. Next minute, Tippy Toe somehow has worked into the race to win. So anyway, we'll get a report as soon as we can. Thanks, Al. Winners trained at Grafton Tippy Toe, and he had won three races previously. In fact, he was a last start winner at Coffs Harbour. Now, they're getting in at Canterbury.